hello there. I'm going to share a little bit of food history with you today. Being June, I, the first thing I'd like to talk about is an, an, a refreshment that was very traditional for people when working in the fields, working hard outside, sweating. You'd need to have something to uh, be able to refresh you. And Switchel is a homemade drink using water, apple cider vinegar, molasses, a little bit of lemon if you were able to get that, and ginger. And, and all mixed together and uh, would be taken out into the field in a, a pitcher or in a canteen and then used as a, a very enjoyable refreshment when working. So that's something that I hope people will, will try today. It's actually quite delicious. If you were unable to get molasses, you could sweeten it with honey or with maple syrup as well. So any of those will work just fine. I also would like to talk a little bit about some of the food that I have here on the table. These are treats all made from 18th century recipes. So um, one of them is the molasses ginger cookies, which we tend to think of now as a, a very plain old fashioned dessert, but would have really been a luxury item in the 18th century because it has not only brown sugar, but also exotic spices like ginger and cinnamon. So. That has been around for well over 200 years and still popular. I also have tarts, and I have four types of tarts with me today. And tarts are essentially a small pie, and I have both blueberry and uh, blackberry on this side of the table, and then on the other side, quince and banbury tarts. And quince is a fruit that we don't tend to see very often now but in the 18th and 19th century was very common and really quite popular. And it's in the same family as apples and pears, and so it's a, a sweet, mild fruit when cooked. When it's raw, it's too hard and sour to be able to eat, but once it's cooked, it makes a beautiful jelly and then can be used to make a tart. And so I made that, and then the Banbury tart, the darker one below there, is uh, made with currants and walnuts and brown sugar and butter and that's a very old English recipe that would have come to the colonies from English English settlers bringing their traditional food ways with them and the same with the shortbread and this is a, a very um, simple recipe flour butter and sugar is all that's in it and this particular one has the addition of lavender blossoms so people in the 18th century often used flowers in their cooking. Um, so rose, rose water was used the way we would use vanilla today, and lavender was often used in baking as well. And so it, it lends a nice floral aroma and taste to the bacon. So that's my food history lesson for today. Uh, Switchel as the traditional 18th century refreshment, molasses ginger cookies as our luxury item, and then uh, tarts and shortbread to round it off. Thanks so much.